everyone. So this video is a part two to my last Sephora haul. I went again for the same sale and I just picked up a couple more things that I was looking for. Um, I did, originally I went to go get the serum, um, the Caudalie SOS serum, but I didn't get that because, I don't know, I, I felt it and I didn't really like it when I was in the store. So I might have to just use the sample a little bit more and see if I actually want to go get the full size because it's, it's like 50 bucks and that's a little pricey to get a serum. Um, so I'm going to show you everything in my bag and I did use one, one thing yesterday. It's this Formula X nail polish and it's on my nails right now. This is the color. This color is called Thrilling and it's by Formula X. I have a seat. Okay. I did get quite a few nail polishes, so I'm just going to do that first. So I got a couple more of the Formula X, and I got this color, which is called Astro Lady. It's like that. And then I also got from the same collection, this is called Glitter Rocket. And these are really nice colors. These are good for, like, on top of either a pink, a purple, gray, white, black, really anything. They're really, really nice. Then I got two nail polishes that were actually on sale, which is kind of strange. And they're both by the brand Nails Ink, which is the one that I have. I have Chelsea Physic Garden that I use all the time. It's a kind of like a, a light blue, teal-ish color. Um, but the other color I got is this, it's this coral one, and it's called Kingston Palace Gardens. And it's like that. And then I got a yellow one that's called Bell Size, Bell Size Park. I feel like it's called something that I know, but I can't think of what it is. Um, but it's just a bright yellow that I'm excited to use because I love yellow. Next, I got the Illamasqua Nail Polish in Purple. And this is called Jomina. Like J O apostrophe M I N A. It's not gonna focus, but that's what it looks like. Um, yeah, it's like this nice purple color. I'm excited to use it. Then next, I got this little travel brush, and I think this will be perfect for traveling because um, I'm doing that quite a bit this summer. We're going to a few weddings, so like overnight, it's nice that I can use this little brush and it's synthetic I can use like the mousse that I use with this um, just a couple more things I'm gonna take everything out because it's easier that way okay then next I got the Sephora nail polish remover and I currently have one here but like I'll show you what it looks like inside well I don't know if I can uh, where's my brush I do my nails at this at my desk here, and I can kind of show you. Maybe not. I want to spill. But the water inside is like, it's like a nasty brown color. So I decided I'll use this for like to dip my brush in, but to like take off my nail polish, I think it's time for a new one. Then I got this Sephora Autom Automizer. I don't, I don't know what it's called. Autumn Automizer. I don't know. But it's the thing that you put perfume in and then you can take this with you. So you have to take a whole bottle with you, which is really nice. Then I got a, another Marvelous Mousse in my color Bisque Medium because I think I'm going to run out soon and I wouldn't want to run out and not be able to go get it, especially if it's on sale. I mean, why not? I saved... Let's see, how much did I save? I saved $46.50 with just the 15% off. And sales tax is 19, it was, it's 7.5%, so it's 19.10. So, I mean, I saved double the tax, which is kind of cool. Um, okay, what else did I not show you? I got the Dior Blooming Bouquet perfume. I'm so excited. I'm in love with this. I got a little sample and it lasted me like three days. I wore it all day, every day. So, I'm really excited to try this out. And... Yeah, so it's my first Dior perfume, which I'm really excited about. 
Then last but not least, I got a YSL um, palette, and this is the number 13. It's really nice. I think these are a little bit pricey for what I usually go for, but this is what it looks like. And I'm really excited to use these colors because I think they're very wearable colors. And, whoa, that's a cool brush. It's like rubbery, pointy, and, oh, this is rubber too. Why is it rubber? That's really strange. I don't think I've ever seen that. If you know why there's a rubber brush in here, let me know in the comments below because I've never, I've never seen that before. Um... Oh, duh, there's pictures on the back. One is for dry and one has a little drop, so it's for, like, to use it wet. You're supposed to use rubber when you're using it wet, I guess. Well, that is all for my haul today. I will see you in the next video. Bye.